Welcome Mootubers, Speed Server has started and I've chosen the Illusion Knight. I've started four Illusion Knight characters. The first one will be played in the free to play server. The second will be played in the gold channel. The third will be played in the speed server with no XP seals. And then finally, the one you had requested, full XP Rush 800. So keep an eye out for the results video when the event finishes to see how they compare. In this video, I'll be covering the two speed server characters. With the full XP Illusion Knight, I had purchased the 28 day gold channel ticket and started with the 3 day event reward provided on the WebZen website. This included the wings, weapon and set. I had also purchased the 3 day XP starter pack that included the lucky set. As for the other Illusion Knight, I had only purchased the 28 day gold channel ticket to be able to join the speed server. I don't have much experience with the Illusion Knight, so I'm excited to see how I go with this event. With the full XP Illusion Knight, I'm still going to try and spend the least amount possible, meaning I'll buy the XP seals to reach 800, but I won't be buying Bless of Lights and will be only using the ones that are given to me in the packs. I have really enjoyed this character in the early days. His skills are high damage, they have a great range, and I didn't have any mana issues. I have only been using the items purchased from NPC and I'm still able to grow at a consistent rate. Eventually I purchased a level 1 cloak. Shout out to this person for selling it to me so early into the event and for a cheap 5 less. It wasn't until I got to Acheron where the mana potions weren't enough and I had to purchase a blade with mana recovery. As for Mr. Full XP, he was flying through all the maps with zero issues along the way. I hit level 400 in approximately 36 hours. Unfortunately, I was receiving multiple disconnections which slowed down my growth. I then had to move to the Master XP seals, so I purchased two of the 7 day Master all-in-one XP packs. The reason I purchased two was so that I could open up 20 Blood Angel box parts to get the Blood Angel set nice and early. I was fortunate enough to receive two level 300 Wind Pentagrams and one Water Pentagram. As for the Blood Angel set, I received the Helm, Armor and three Pants one of which had plus 15 stats. All the other drops were Bless of Light. As for the missing gloves, it had only taken purchasing one box from the shop to receive the final item to my set. Even with the Blood Angel set and a level 300 pentagram, going to Feria was a struggle. I had requested the bot to move me to a sub main zone and wasn't able to survive. I went on a search to find a smaller room with only 4 mobs and noticed I was getting better XP in this location than in the Benta. My goal was to get to level 440 and use my first 40 master points in the blue tree to get the wind glaive mastery. This would mean that I'll be able to equip my rude skill, blade storm. Previously, I would always use my first 40 to 50 points on the left green tree to get the defense to survive. It's only been recently I have realized it's better to use your points to equip the root skill to produce higher damage. Mm. 
Immediately after equipping Blade Storm, my XP had increased. I decided to try the new skill in the main zone. I was doing great damage and receiving double the XP, but my HP and defense was still letting me down. I also had to do something about my AG because it was dropping fast. I changed my main attack to Wing Glaive because it now has a range of 6 after upgrading it in the Master Tree. Blade Storm became secondary when there were 3 mobs in hunting range. This allowed me to recover my AG. I wasn't able to position my character central of the room and placed him down to avoid damage. It's been 5 days since the event started. The Illusion Knight with no XP seals is currently on level 335. He's been struggling, mainly due to his cape. I've now missed out on 2 opportunities to buy him level 2 cloak. Both times the seller had adjusted the price in store to what I had offered and they were sold before I got a chance to buy them. After 5 days, my Illusion Knight is level 578. He has strength for his items, and the rest of the points are on agility. He has extremely high speed, as the Skeleton Pet provides 10 speed, the Dark Ring provides 10, and my Pendant provides 7. I'll upgrade my set to 7 before reaching the next map, Nixie's Lake. As for my skill tree, once I had added the first 40 points to use Blade Storm, I then added 10 points to HP and made my way to the green tree. Proceeded to add points until I could add a couple on AG recovery, followed by 10 on defense. I then moved to the red tree where I increased my double damage with Blade Master Mastery and then 10 points on restore HP when killing monsters. Then return back to the blue tree until I get Blade Storm Mastery and Max HP Boost. As I mentioned, I'll avoid purchasing the scroll buffs and any additional Bless of Light. If you want to see the rest of my speed server journey, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Comment down below what character you chose and what level they're currently sitting at. I'll catch you in the next one.